The rest of the overnight should be calm and dry, and by the afternoon, the return of these above average temperatures. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. We'll be starting out in those lower 50s for Wednesday morning, quickly warming up though, close to 70 degrees by noon. Coastal showers will be possible throughout the day today, and that's thanks to a high pressure system just off in the Atlantic, helping to wrap around more of a southeasterly flow. This is going to help to increase our, our cloud cover and even the chance of some isolated showers. Again, though, most of them should stay off towards the first coast, maybe making their way into eastern portions of Alachua and Marion counties, most of them out towards the Atlantic, keeping us dry and very warm for this time of the year, almost 10 degrees above average, 74 about for your high in Gainesville, 76 in Ocala and the villages over towards Crystal River along the I-10 corridor, lower 70s expected. We're still monitoring this slow cold front that will be moving through the region, should be approaching the Florida panhandle by Thursday. Thursday. However, low pressure system associated with that cold front out towards Texas and Oklahoma late Thursday night, but just ahead of it, a lot of moisture being drawn up from the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to help to start to increase rain chances, mostly for the Florida panhandle. However, take note that low pressure only moves just slightly to the north and that cold front inches towards the east should be arriving into the Pensacola region, even out towards Tallahassee by Friday for New Year's Day. Still an abundant amount of moisture in the atmosphere, triggering up these showers and thunderstorms. But as that low pressure continues northward, this cold front barely moves. Just now approaching Tallahassee and the Apalachicola region and still abundant amount of moisture just in ahead of it for Saturday. That's going to help to keep our rain chances around for most of the Sunshine State Thursday, that's going to be mostly for the Florida panhandle. We'll start to see our rain chances increase in north central Florida for Friday and Saturday as that cold front inches just closer to our area. We're not going to see a cool down with mostly sunny skies again until next Sunday.